today is uh, September 3rd, um, Saturday, 15th day of our walking and we're leaving the albergue. We met uh, Kasia and uh, Agata and uh, they are walking for Michael, um, their paralyzed patient, their physical therapist from Poland. So we got to know them and talk to them. And his low luggage. So we started at about 8, 10 this morning, a little bit later than yesterday. And um, from now on to about Lyon, we're gonna be walking the Meseta. And uh, that's the part of the journey that uh, the host from Alberga explained to me. Uh, it's very personal, you're pretty much with yourself and um, you have to deal with it, you have to, uh, a lot of people experience that differently, um, for some people it's hard emotionally, uh, some people kind of have emotional breakdown, we'll see how it's gonna go, it's a very mystical journey, this next five days I think we're walking up to get to the meseta precipice we're gonna be on it it's beautiful beautiful views kind of steep climb so that's behind us that's ahead of us When you go up, you have to go down, so down we go. We stop by a um, building, this church of St. Nicholas, and now uh, we got our stand here. And pilgrims have mass here, they eat and they sleep. Thank you. This is the Church of Saint Anton, uh, Saint Nicholas, and beautiful rosemary bush and some grapes there are roses everywhere beautiful roses and an awesome bridge ahead of us very long stone bridge probably dating back to a roman time because this is one of those ancient Roman roads that we're walking on. This is uh, Rio Pisurga. Look at that bridge. bridge. It's so splendid. It's actually huge. Next to uh, the Church of St. Martin, they have some sort of marathon, pentathlon or something. And um, this is our albergue. It's my bed. I'm gonna go and take a shower. I have to pass through these rooms. It's been already filled. It's uh, like close to six o'clock. Thank you. 